On July 30th, 1863, Henry Ford was born and his legacy began. Wait a second, who's Henry Ford? Henry Ford revolutionized transportation. How did he get his start? He left his family to go work at Edison Illuminating Company in 1891 and was later promoted to chief engineer. I thought you said he revolutionized transportation. I'm getting there. In 1896, he constructed his first model of the horseless carriage, the Ford Quadricycle. He later sold the quadricycle in order to build other vehicles. Did he ever start a company? In fact, he did. On August 5, 1899, he established the Detroit Automobile Company. A couple years after he established this company, he built the Ford 999 racer that set the new speed record. I've never heard of that. What is he known for? Well, in 1903, Ford established the Ford Motor Company with his partner, Alexander Malcolmson. I've definitely heard of that. What was the first car he made? Ford introduced the Model T in October of 1908. This vehicle was so popular that the company received 100% gains. The demand for the Model T was so high that Highland Park, their first big factory, had to employ 13,000 men. That's a lot of people working for one man. How did Ford treat his workers? Ford introduced the $5 workday in order to keep his best workers loyal to the company. Because of the great wages and only having to work for eight hours, 10,000 men showed up looking for jobs the next day. Everything sounds like it was running smoothly for him. He's extremely successful. Did anything ever go wrong? In 1916, two of Ford's original investors filed a lawsuit against him because he was secretly buying hundreds of acres of farmland along the River Rogue to build the Rogue plant. This violated the interests of its stockholders. That sounds scandalous. Did business continue after that? It did. In 1918, because of Ford's contributions, half of the cars in the United States were Model Ts. But on December 30, 1918, Henry Ford suddenly resigns from the presidency of the Ford Motor Company. Why would he resign? Did he completely leave the business? No. Even though he wasn't the president, he still controlled the company because on March 5, 1919, Ford's family owned every share in the Ford Motor Company. So he still had all control? How many Model Ts were made? On May 26, 1927, the 15 millionth Model T ceremoniously rolled off the assembly line, the same day Ford announces the new vehicle, the Model A. How did he make enough supplies to keep up with this high demand? On September 30, 1927, Henry Ford purchases land in Brazil to establish rubber plantations in what would be known as Fordlandia. After all this time and demand, were his workers being treated well? Yes, Ford institutes the $7 workday. But because of the Depression, between 1929 and 1932, Ford must lay off half of his workforce. In April 1941, outside the Rogue, 50,000 Ford employees strike until Ford agrees to meet union demands calling for higher wages, overtime pay, and job security. In June 1941, Ford gives in to the union demands by giving them everything they wanted and more. At least he tried to benefit his workers. If he still wasn't president, how did he have power to do that? Well, on June 1, 1943, Henry Ford was re-elected president of the Ford Motor Company. He was a very successful man. He really was. And unfortunately, on April 7, 1947, Henry Ford died from a cerebral hemorrhage at the age of 83. He is credited with helping build the nation's economy and, le and his legacy continues to move on.